to the State Hornet broadcast, folks. Last week, rain and wind spread bits of debris around campus. If you were busy decking out from the hall, let's catch up. Keep up with State Hornet sports. The section publishes a bi-weekly power ranking list tracking all the best Sac State athletes. The buzz and doesn't. Let's hop out of the studio so Hornet reporters Nate Smith and Nathan Cromwell can hop in so you can see who made the list and who didn't. All right, thanks, guys. I'm Nate Cromwell. I'm Nate Smith. And this is the buzz and doesn't. And so we're going to get started with our honorable mentions. We have Jennifer Koga, who's a junior in women's golf. We have Akal Mawain, junior forward for men's basketball. We have Jan Silva, junior for men's tennis. And Katie Pineda, sophomore for women's basketball. All right, guys, with that being said, let's get right into it. At number 12, we have Kaylin Randawa, senior guard for women's basketball. Randawa transferred to Sacramento State after graduating from Utah State in 2022, playing in 26 games this season, averaging 9.6 points and 3.1 rebounds. In the last four games, she averaged nearly 12 points, helping the Hornets rebound from a three-game losing skid. And at number 11, we have Amber Koth, grad student for gymnastics. Amber has spent her entire career at Sac State, and she's new on this list. Uh, Koth made history by receiving a perfect 10 score by a judge on the beam against San Jose State, the first gymnast to receive a 10 in school history. She averaged out at 9.925, setting a tie at second in school history for the event. Number 10, Marissa Bertuccio, senior pitcher for softball. She dropped two spots to make room for some more talent we got on the list for you. Marissa led the Hornets in their win over Kansas this past weekend series only allowing four hits in seven innings. She was named Big Sky Pitcher of the Year in 2022 after she finished 21-10. and 10. In May of last season, Bertuccio threw her first no-hitter collegiately. She has 36 career wins and a 2.85 earned run average. At number nine, we have Zach Chappelle, a senior guard for men's basketball. Zach has averaged 13.2 points per game this season and has hit multiple game-winning shots in his senior season. Like the men's basketball team, Chappelle has struggled, averaging just 7.4 points over the last four games, and that's why he's dropped five spots. At number eight, we have Mark Kecky. He's in the same spot he was last week, nothing's changed. He's a junior for the men's tennis team. In his third year at Sac State, Kecky has started this season five and two in doubles play and is five and one in singles. Playing at the number one position, he has helped the Hornets to a hot start at seven and three overall and one and zero in the big sky. He's a huge reason for them being where they are in the league. His hot start last week earned him men's tennis big sky player of the week. At number seven, we have Marshall Martin, junior tight end for football. The junior tight end led the Hornets with 879 receiving yards and 12 receiving touchdowns last season. The soon-to-be senior has earned All-American honors three years in a row. Martin will be a key piece for the Hornets' offense this next season. At number six, we have Maya Gorbanova. She's a junior for women's tennis. She has came up by six spots for her recent play. In her first season since transferring in 2022 from East Tennessee State, Russian native Maya Gorbanova continues to make an impact at Sac State. Gorbanova is currently undefeated in singles at 8-0 and 5-3 and in doubles play. And at number five, we have Callum McRae, senior center for men's basketball. Callum McRae, the senior center hailing from New Zealand, transferred to Sac State after his time at UC Riverside. McRae led the Hornets to their win over Idaho State with 21 points and 15 rebounds. In 2022, he became the tallest player standing at 7'1 in program's history, averaging 12.4 points per game and 9.3 rebounds per game. All right, digging down the knit and grit, number four, Lua Day, senior to third base for softball. She came up one spot with her play this season. Coming off an impressive all-big sky season, Day has started off hot, hitting a home run in their opening series of the season. The Slugger is coming off 16 home runs last season, where she was also second on the Hornets in hits. Day has averaged .238 so far in the 2023 season, hitting. At number three, we have Isnel Nadabu, junior center for women's basketball. Nadabu has continued her dominance in the paint this season, proving herself to be indispensable as a presence around the rim. Coming off an impressive first year campaign, she has shown no signs of slowing down. Former Big Sky Newcomer of the Year has averaged 15.2 points per game with 9.4 rebounds so far this season. Number two, Jorge Bajorquez, junior infielder for the baseball team. He's new on the list since the season just got started. 
Jorge is a junior infielder from Nogales, Arizona. He hit 500 on the opening weekend and only struck out once. The only Hornet to start in all 58 games last year. His two doubles and one home run propelled the Hornets to a 3-1 series victory over North Dakota State. Finally, at number one for the Buzz and Dozen, we have Kalasia Dean, senior point guard for women's basketball. Taking home five Big Sky Players of the Week this season, Kalasia has established herself as a force to be reckoned with within the Big Sky Conference. The guard is averaging 21.2 points per game, along with 5.1 rebounds and 4.8 assists in the game, leading the Hornets to a 16-6 record in the prime position for the conference tournament. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Nate, for recapping six of our best athletes. And thank you, Nate, for sharing the other six. Next, we're going to see some of those athletes in action. Let's check in with multimedia staffer Michael Pacheco, reporting from the women's basketball team's final home game last week. Did they win or lose, Michael? The Sacramento State women's basketball team clinched the program's first ever Big Sky title during senior night Monday at the Nest, taking out Portland State 80-54. The Hornets leaned on defense in their sixth straight win, keeping the Portland offense down to 36% from the field, with Sac State shooting at 54%. Though Sacramento faced a rocky start with Portland taking a five-point lead in the opening minutes, the Hornets soon found their stride, reclaiming the lead 16-13 at the end of the first quarter. The Hornets maintained that lead and never let it go. Junior center Isnil Nadabu finished with 23 points and six rebounds. Senior guard Jordan Oliveras ended her time in the nest in commanding fashion, scoring a season high of 18 points and 11 rebounds. Senior guard Kalaja Dean scored 16 points with five rebounds. With this victory, the Hornets end their season 22-7 overall and 13-5 in league, securing a share of the Big Sky Conference title with Northern Arizona and Montana State. The Hornets will be the third seed going into the Big Sky Tournament, facing the sixth seed Idaho on March 6. Well, that's all for this broadcast. <laughs> All right, listen, Hornets. The State Hornet is doing its third annual March Madness face-off. We're starting the brackets with 64 artists and whittling it down to one winner. This year, we're holding a showdown of independent standalone artists. So that's gonna be Beyonce, Rihanna, Harry Styles, and even Ye found a way to squeeze his way into the mix this year. The first round will feature matchups like Frank Sinatra and Frank Ocean. The Blessing Julia Jacqueline versus someone named Billy Eyelash and Posty versus Steve Lacey. I wish I knew who the winner is, but I don't get to decide. That is where you come in. You can vote on Twitter or Instagram, or every Wednesday you can vote in person at the library quad. Before I go, I have just one more thing to say. Pressure to party, gonna stay in. Nothing good can come from. Hey, what are you doing in here? Nothing. Don't. Get him! Oh. Now that Chris is done hijacking the broadcast, let's get out of here. Keep an eye out on campus this month for State Hornet Tabling. Come learn more about us, sign up for our newsletter, and meet some folks from our public relations team. Also, check out our Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok to stay up to date with the latest Sac State news. Thanks for tuning in to the State Hornet broadcast, student news without fear or favor.